Russ and Walker here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're unloading corn. Yeah. We trade with the neighbors. We try to work with our neighbors and this particular neighbor, he gives us corn, oats, and hay and trade for welding and repair work. And also, also whenever he goes on vacation a couple weeks out of the year, I go take care of his cows for him. Plus he buys a bull from us every other year. So, you know, we try to work with our neighbors, but today we got corn. Yeah. A lots of it, huh? Yeah, didn't you say two or three tons? Three tons, yep, three tons. This here's our corn. We gotta get this corn from this wagon. So he needs this wagon back so he can do some soybeans. He's gonna be harvesting soybeans. But we gotta go from that wagon into this wagon here. I don't know, did you guys finish getting it cleaned out, bud? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty well cleaned out, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely cleaned out. Yeah. So, we gotta get that corn from that wagon to this wagon with the least amount of work as possible, right? Yeah. I don't really feel like So, it. what we're doing, this here's an old hay elevator that I had whenever uh, we were making hay, I kept it. And we actually use this for firewood now to help load loads of firewood and pile it up nice and high, huh, bud? Yeah, I guess the, now we're going to use it for corn. Yep, we're going to use it for its intended purpose instead of firewood. Yeah. It's not really made for firewood, huh? Yeah, but it's not really made for corn either, so it's made for hay, isn't it? Um, No, it's made for corn, oats, and, and hay, mm -hmm. all of it, so... Yeah. We'll see. We're going to try and get as much in the wagon with the least amount on the ground, right? Yeah, let's try to do that. Yeah, let's try to do that. So, okay, we're going to swing this elevator into place here. And then I'm going to try and get that backed into where it needs to be. And it's an older wagon, so it's loose in the front. So it's really difficult backing up. And back, if, if any of you have ever backed a wagon... It's not the easiest thing if it's something you don't do on a regular basis. So we'll see see how bad a job I do, but let's get this swung into place, bud. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's swing it into place. And... We could probably lower it down because it's going to hit the roof. It's as low as it goes. Oh. So we'll get it done. somehow. Looks like it needs to turn that way a little bit. Okay, we can take it back some too. Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. Let's get our wagon backed up here. And then we pull it in because the stupid tongue that they put on this hay elevator it makes it really difficult to unload off a trailer into that here they should have made it so it folds oh, yeah, or something nice. because whenever you try to back a wagon in here it has to be right up uh, up against and it makes it really 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 difficult to unload out of and this wagon here doesn't have a slide chute on it so that's even going to make it more Okay, well, let's get her backed up here, bud. We'll see. It's going to take a few tries. I'll, I'll back you up. Okay. Make sure we don't hit anything. Let me see how much gas we got in our motor. Probably a good idea to check. Oh, we got lots of gas. Good. Or... We want it off to the side, but we want to stop. We're going to unload right here, bud. Okay. So that chute there slides down after we get it in where we need it and we can slid ahead. Okay, so we need to bring it up that way a little bit. We need to bring it over a little bit, yeah. Too bad that fence post is right there. I know. It's all right. I'll do my best.
looks to me pretty looks pretty good to me. But if we need to move it back, we can. need to go back some more, bud. Okay. We need to go back a few more on this base dump. Okay, yeah. Just I, a couple more inches, that's all. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. chute is binded right there so we get a we have to slide it up and it's can't get it by hand so we'll just tap it out of there with a hammer hopefully. I got your favorite hammer never failed it up. that seems pretty good done anything like this before, have I? Nope. Oh, there's always first for everything. You were just a little guy when we quit doing corn. <laughs> okay, let's see if this bad boy will start. Probably take this off, right? I'm just... Yeah. I'm just gonna... Where should I put that? Mm. Up there goes. Sounds like Scout wants out.
whole end fell off the, the pulley. Go ahead. The end fell off our pulley, guys. Uh -huh. Now we gotta go see if we got another pulley. Oh, yippee. That's all right, we got her fixed in a little bit of no time. for this year yeah well look at that that flew clear over here oh my wait from clear back here it flew wait, over here there's a little part of it missing yeah that, the other part that we just we took off we never retightened this did we what this no we've got a wagon load of oats yeah. here there's probably 100 bushels in there or more. Up in the barn? Yeah, probably up in the barn. We're not going to do it today. Yeah. That's pretty much a whole wagon load of oats, too. So, it's kind of nice working with the neighbors. I haven't seen it yet, so I might as well. Okay. Okay, guys. We don't use many oats or corn here on the farm. Those two wagon loads will last us an entire year probably. And we'll use the corn. Walker and Formy will be using the corn for the mules as well as the poultry, right? Yeah. So their pigs are gone. We won't be getting pigs again until next spring sometime. Yeah, I hope no more than four, I'm hoping. You didn't like the eight? Four was more than enough. Yeah, but uh, what about eight? Eight was quite a few and I'm pretty sure. But anyhow, the hogs are gone. They dressed out well um, on the rail. They weighed about 250 pounds, which makes a really nice size, makes a nice pork chop, makes lots of bacon, nice ham. So uh, we we're happy with that. But anyhow, the pigs don't eat the corn and the oats that we have here. Like I said, that's strictly for the poultry and we'll feed the mules some corn too. And we only feed about maybe a gallon of oats a day to, or a gallon of corn a day to the mules. It's just a treat to bring them in. Yeah. Anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's kind of nice working with, with neighbors and hopefully you can do the same. Um, you know, help one another out and be kind. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Don't, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you later. Bye.